to another episode of The Playlist, your favorite entertainment show that gets you connected to your favorite artist in the Gambia. And my guest today is a very young, talented Gambian. He is one of Gambian's Afropop artists. His lyrics are tight. His swag is an exception. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Jizzle, the lyrical kiddo. And this program is sponsored by EJ Investments. For all your property inquiries, like I always say, do not hesitate to give them a call. They are the most reliable estate agency in the Gambia and they're cost effective as well. And I'm looking so gorgeous, thanks to myself. I had to make myself look this good. Yeah, so um, like I said, this is a playlist show and it's the hottest in Gambia right now. I'm rapping on my niggas. Touch me, you touch my niggas. You don't know, this is a family thing. I will take a bullet for my niggas. My niggas, they show me real love. My niggas, they keep it 100. My niggas, my niggas loyal. My niggas, they keep supporting me. Yeah. I will ride for my niggas, I will die for my niggas, oh yeah. Anything me I get, me I share with my niggas, oh yeah. And anywhere me I go, me I go with my niggas, oh yeah. My nigga, my nigga, my niggas for life. Yeah. My nigga, my nigga, you, you. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, yeah, yeah. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, yeah, yeah. My nigga, my niggas, my niggas for life. My nigga, my nigga, you, you. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, yeah, yeah. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, yeah, yeah. My nigga, my niggas, my niggas for life. Jizzle, welcome to the playlist. And by the way, it's kind of coincidental. Yeah, we look. Yeah, in. we have the same colors: black, green, red. Nice. 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 So beautiful. Thank I'm surprised. You. Yeah. And, and someone. You're looking beautiful. You're looking thank so you. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And you look handsome yourself. Oh, and thanks. someone said if you come, I should do a greetings, like a kind of style. So I guess we should do it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's. <laughs> Sick. Right. So, uh, Jizzle, first, yeah. can you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, I go by the name Jere, mm -hmm. popularly known as Jizzle. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm staying at Bruce B currently. Okay. Back out born. You know. Champion boy. Right? Yeah. Jizzle, before you were called Jizzle the Lyrical Kiddo, but you go by the name Jizzle now. Yeah. I mean, what is the change about? Do you feel you're growing up now or? Yeah, no, the, the Kiddo wasn't even um, something that has to do with, you know, a kid. It was more okay. like a, you know, gun in Mandinka, they call okay. it Kiddo. Oh, Kiddo gun. Yeah. Nice. So um, I find it, I find it, I kind of find it too long. Okay. You know? Uh, because most of these um, social media pages I'm um, registered to, you know what I mean? They are not. Most of them don't. You know the name. Okay. They, yes. They, try, they don't recognize they try it and put, all that. They putting something, adding something there, or bringing something off. So I just went with the jizzle straight, straight up. You know, simple. Nice. It's short, and, precise, yeah. and yeah. it's bam, jizzle. That's right. right. So can you tell us about your education, educational background? Yeah. yeah. Um, my whole life, I went in Dallas. Mm -hmm. I was in Dallas from daycare. I grew up in Dallas. All my friends, everybody I knew back then, I knew them from Dallas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Mrs. Dow. Nice. Out to Ms. Yeah, because I am a Dallas product as well. Yeah, so, so you see, you so see. to every Dallas product. We, we, we started from the we started from the from the outfit, the yeah. colors. Yeah. And now. Yeah, that was the um old daycare. It was a daycare then old school. Then, you know, I'm back in the days, yeah, old school, time of Nunda, I'm on this um, fire station at the back where yeah. people used to run and yeah. do that. Yeah. You, you've been in old school? Old school. The one yeah. that wears the brown, the old, the old brown by the post office? Body, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly, I was, that I one. Was around, I was around, the, I was, I was, at the, I started with the one behind, uh, uh, at the Elton. Yeah. yeah, that was the um, old school. No, 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 that's, that's the yeah, nursery, that's the daycare, yeah. It has two, yeah. it has, um, Behind the Elton, and if you go in right in, like you're going to dance school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I've started there, <laughs> and then I came to the one around the, the where the gym is now, yeah, yeah. and then yeah, to where post offices, and, and then oh yeah, yeah. yeah so so to us. Yeah. Yeah. Team that was. So you so you were explaining your educational background. You started there, and then yeah. Um, actually, after my grade nine, my ninth year, that was mm -hmm. in two thousand and seven. I went uh, into this IT, which was at the Gantel School, mm -hmm. GTMI. Mm -hmm. That's where. That's when I even started music. That was right yeah. after my uh, ninth grade. Okay. That's when I took this 
whole thing as a serious your ninth business. grade yeah okay. right after that that was in so what happened to your grade 10 11 12 yeah so i had this strong feeling that i have something in me that i need to show the world i need to like do it you know what i mean and it's been disturbing me at first i wasn't i wasn't that into it because mm -hmm. you know my brother was the one that was more into music mm -hmm. i was doing soccer and everything mm -hmm. so i started having the feeling that i can do it i can yeah. do it i can do it so i'm like i need to do it i, I don't know what it's going to take, but I'm going to get myself there. That's when I started building up this interest, you know, even mm -hmm. though my family wasn't, especially especially my dad, mm -hmm. it's like, nah, you need to, you need to focus on Your education, education, blah, 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 blah. This music is just, you know what I mean? It's just going to, it's not going to work for you. It's going to yeah. disturb your, your future. So I'm like, nah, this is something I believe in. I didn't tell him that, but mm -hmm. I kept it in, I, I kept it in mind that this is my way, you know? So I started. So it's your way or the highway? It's my way. Nice. Yeah. So was it something music, is, is music something you inherited or is it just a passion? It's just a passion because um, none of my family, family members is engaged with music. You know, mm -hmm. it was my brother. We are the only, we are the only two and my cousins. I yeah. have another cousin that is doing music, but What's his name? our uncles, Akiponja. Okay. Our uncles oh, and nice. our yeah, our uncles and our fathers and our grandparents wasn't, you know, musically, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it started from us. Nice. You know, so they were all surprised, like, what who in the family is doing this? So why you like how did you You guys... started before Akiponja, right? No, Akiponja started. Started before, before you, yeah, okay. We started like in two thousand I think two years before I started. Nice. Yeah. So first you started as a rap artist. Yeah. And then you switched to dancehall. Nah, and now Afropop. Yeah. No, nah, I was I was a rapper. Okay. And then you know when you're working with different people, mm -hmm. you know you get to you know know new things and want to okay. try. You know what I mean? So yeah. I later felt like I'm gonna be a singer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, let me try. Let me just try. I got discouraged like mm -hmm. so many times. Like your voice is. You sound like a baby when you sing mm -hmm. but still you know when when i have something in my head like i believe i can do it i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna improve myself and that's what got me here today now i'm a full-time singer i don't even i don't even remember me rapping no more you know what okay. i mean so i started with rap and then i got myself into the singing side mm -hmm. now i'm focused on the singing side i'm more focused okay. on the singing, yeah. so why did you choose afro pop because my music mm -hmm. right now, the kind of music I do, mm -hmm. it's all about. I'm all about. I'm all about making people happy. Like free up your mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Me rapping back then was me rapping about conscious things or yeah. me bragging. Yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah. I felt like I need to because if you check mm -hmm. worldwide, people are doing music. Mm -hmm. The type of music people are doing, sorry, mm -hmm. are, the, are the type of music people are dancing to. If you go to yeah. club. The only music you hear is jumpy, jumpy sounds. Yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah. I feel like I need to do the same thing to get myself there. You know what I mean. I don't need to be singing about stress. Sometimes yeah. it's good too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. But right now, people, people, people don't care much about. You people know, just want to have fun they because just have the fun. thing is, every day you get stressed at home or at work or anywhere. Yeah. So, so the next thing you want to do is just free up your mind. Listen to music. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm doing that type of music. And thank God, like. People are loving it, and anytime I walk into yeah. a club, I hear my songs and I see everybody yeah. jump into it. So it feels good. It feels like I'm listening. I'm in the club and listening to a whiskey song. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the feeling I get whenever I walk into a club. Nice. Yeah. So how do you feel listening to yourself? Like, yeah. hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just it just it just keeps me moving, like doing it and seeing the right. reaction from people. So it's just it's a great feeling yeah, yeah. and i gotta commend you because you're doing a great job and this year you have done a great yeah, job thank you. all your songs are bangers because mm -hmm. your music is sellable yeah um the standard is international when you listen to it i mean if a foreigner out there comes and listen to it if you tell him it's a gambian he wouldn't believe he would think maybe it's probably an Nigerian yeah. or yeah that's that's, right. that's a great job yeah. and i've seen you also shooting in senegal and all that so yeah. keep it up Thank yeah you. so um have you performed in um big concerts yeah actually i've attended few mm -hmm. but i didn't perform and i've uh, i've performed at a few mm -hmm. Which was um, in Dakar, 2017. Which uh, mm -hmm. at the Edikenzo concert, mm -hmm. there was a show Edikenzo had there. Yeah. So I performed there, and 
I was in Nigeria in 2016 mm -hmm. for the All African Music Award, which was the Afrima. Yeah. I didn't perform, but I attended it, which was so big for my yeah. career. It was so, so big. And you've seen the likes of Davido and yeah, Reese, nah, I, and all I wasn't. That. I didn't have the opportunity to see him, but okay. I saw Diamond. And, and Platinum. Yeah, and the Kenzo. I saw a whole lot of them. Okay. Basket Mouth, uh, Mr. Mehdi. Okay. You know, I saw a whole lot of them. Right. Yeah. So, um, um, have you jammed with any artists, like big artists, as in the world, collabo with them or stuff like that? Yeah, um, I had plans to, mm -hmm. you know, but stuff, things like that, I kind of, I kind of think it's a little bit hard if you're, mm -hmm. if you're coming up, you know what I mean? Yeah. You need to get yourself to that level as in the whole world knowing who you are, then, then it gets easy to, to get on a song with David O because he's yeah. going to know that, yeah, he's the, yeah. he's the big thing in his country, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? He doesn't want to know if you're big in South Africa or yeah. let them just see that you have a big following in your country and mm -hmm. the people in your country like are celebrating you like a king, you know yeah. what I mean? Then they would want to have something here too, you know what I mean? Do with you. Yeah, they, would, they don't even want to know if you're big or not. Mm -hmm. Let them just see the love you're getting from your people. Right. They're going to want to have, they, want, they would want to conquer your area, you know what right. I mean? Yeah, so I had plans and I still have plans to do that. Mm -hmm. And hopefully 28, 2019 will, will definitely get me there because I have nice. a whole lot of plans and I'm looking forward to do big, big songs with big yeah. people. We're big looking people. forward to having an artist that is going to sell us yeah. um, to international level. Yeah. Like, for instance, when you say Jizu, everybody like, he's from Gambia, then that could sell the country, you know? Definitely. So we need Definitely. that. Yeah. We need that. And um, can you tell us about your 14 track um, debut mixtape called Food is Ready? Wow. So you're I still, you you're still back. shit. You yeah. You're taking me back, back <laughs> yeah. to 2013. Of course. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I can't, <laughs> most of the songs, like, the songs are so funny, like, yeah. me listening to them now, I just laugh, like, I laugh so hard, mm. you know, yeah, um, first of all, I'm going to say a big thank you to the Block, mm -hmm. Block Studio, you know, I was signed there when I did that, Yeah. you know, yeah, we did 14 tracks, mixtape, the food is ready, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, yeah, and it was, it was, it was a very, 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 great experience mm -hmm. you know what i mean i think one of the songs room is it Rumpa? Rumpa, shake your room yeah so yeah, that was that was that was one of my biggest songs back then it, it got you it exposed you more back yeah, then yeah. as um jizzle jizzle bands jizzle the little girl kiddo nice you know so looking back mm -hmm. it just it just looks crazy like i'm funny now i'm on a i'm on a different level you know what i mean mm -hmm. i just see it as i've grown i've grown a lot and um, yeah right so one of the songs on the food is ready um, mixtape was um over sauna, over sauna yeah. which you highlighted about young people being neglected yeah. in the adult world and all that mm -hmm. um what was the inspiration when you were writing that yeah it was it was more like back then it was more like uh when i when even right now currently if i'm doing music I based it on the everyday happenings, like mm -hmm. things that happen every day. It could be love, it could be the society, it could be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I got inspiration from my own side, because mm -hmm. back then I was, I was, I was, you know, going through a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was more like a personal thing. Yeah. Yeah, I was going through a lot, and I know a lot, a lot of people out there, mm -hmm. you know, and that time they're going through the same thing. So I felt like I, sh I should, like, speak my mind you know musically that's what i was singing about did you went through that kind of um you know did you felt like you were yeah the starting is always crazy mm -hmm. like it's always crazy at the start and i was going here and there i was walking from koto to pipeline just to go studio or to go meet a producer like different kind of locations mm -hmm. even you know knowing that you're not able to do certain things but you have to just go through the hard way mm -hmm. and still we we still trying we still struggling to get there you know mm -hmm. yeah nice and in 2014 you had this major song called man of the year yeah. which 2015, you, it was 2015. 2015. Yeah. nice which you did with atinola that's right um can you tell us about that song man of the year why do you think that you were the man of the year <laughs> are you still man of the year a man of every year <laughs> man of every year <laughs> yeah so um the song came up Funny, mm 
-hmm. because back then I was staying with him. I was, I was in the same house with Atenola. We shared yeah. the same house. Mm -hmm. So um, we've been planning to have a song together mm -hmm. like for a ages back. That was me starting. He started before me. Yeah. Shout out to him, my brother Atenola. You know? So we, we were like, we need to do a song. And I'm like, yeah, we need to do a song. We need to do a song. So what is this song going to be about? Mm -hmm. And he's like, um, I have something like... He was, he was actually rapping about him being the man of the year. Mm -hmm. So I told him, yeah, I, I also have a hook. I also did a hook about the same man of the year. So why not we just crack our heads and find something really nice that mm -hmm. we can sing and rap about and make the people jump to it. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So it was like an assignment for both of us. You know what I mean? He had his headphones on and I had mine too. So we were just on the bed, you know, improvising. And, you know, we got yeah. something. And he was like, yeah, I have this now. Let's do it. He's, uh, he, he like flowed for me. And then I loved it. I'm like, yo, we don't even need to waste time. Let's just go to the studio straight. And record it. Hammer. And we did it. And I posted, I remember I posted a video on Instagram mm -hmm. of uh, the song right after we recorded it at Stylish. Mm -hmm. And everybody were like, they were commenting, like saying that this is going to be crazy. This Like the reaction yeah, after me post. Yeah. So I felt like, and the song, we didn't, the funny thing is, we, community out of expect it, it would have got us, like, to that where we, level, yeah, yeah, because I just, I still have the feeling that Man of the Year, there's the main reason why you knew me. Yeah. A, a whole That's lot true. of people, like, Because I do, I do used to jam on that song a lot. Yeah. We'll be going out somewhere, and I'm the Man of the Year, everybody, no, I wasn't, nobody better, nobody than, better me. Yes. than me, so I, now I'm, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know I mean, if I'm seeing it, it right. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it personally. I didn't. I didn't even know that the song was gonna go that big. Mm -hmm. You know, because back then, if you do songs like that, they they're like, hey, Kilomo when you're singing about designer, you don't. Yeah. You don't. You know what you I mean? They try. They try. You know, criticizing. Yeah. Yeah, stuffs like that. So I was a bit afraid because. So you thought you didn't have any designers. So why should you sing about it? Uh, it's like it's like I want to be in that zone. Okay. You know, it's not like. You wear a designer, you should think about designer. Sometimes right. there are certain things you just dream about or you just want to, you just picture yourself in that situation. You know what I mean? You just yeah. want to think about it because most of these uh, musicians that use Ferraris in their yeah. songs or sing about Most of them don't even don't own have, it. So it's just, yeah. it's just you expressing yourself and like showing people that you want to live this kind yeah. of life. You know what I mean? Mm. That's what got us the, the whole, I'm the man, nobody but now I'm rocking designer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And... It got out, it got big, it got me to different platforms, shows, I met different people, big awesome. people. Yeah. So I'm the girl of the year. Nobody, Nobody better, better than hey. me. I swear. <laughs> we'll go for a short commercial. We'll be right back. Yeah. Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. Welcome back. It's still the playlist and my guest today is Jizzle. I'm so loving. I am so loving the conversation right now because I like to interview people when they tell me more about them. And, you know, just spice it up to make you guys out there enjoy the show. So, Jizzle, could you um, tell me, do you write your songs yourself? Yeah. I'm a songwriter, I'm, I'm a beat maker, I produce my songs. Mm -hmm. I've been producing lately, like, uh, I produced the Jalika song, mm -hmm. which is big. Most, of, uh, most yeah. of the songs on my EP, I produced it. So now, I'm a full-time producer, songwriter, and a performer. Nice. So yeah. how many um, tracks do you have on your EP? I have six classic songs, 
six. Jalika. Talk talk. Talk talk. Mm-hmm. Playing my heart. Mm-hmm. The next big thing. Yeah. And Safndiga. Safndiga. I haven't heard about the Safndiga. What is the what, what is a Safndiga? Nah, we don't we don't need to talk about. Ah, uh, you have to tell me. Nah, no, 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 no. Safn- <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, are you working with any media house or production um, company? Currently, um, no. No. Yeah, I was working with um, Absolute mm-hmm. Entertainment mm-hmm. for a year, mm-hmm. and the contract is over. And yeah, how so did it go? It went good. It went good. Actually, it went good. Nice. It was more like a management deal. Okay. Yeah. So they were just managing my stuff mm-hmm. and you know other things. So finally, I'm done, and I'm saying a big thanks to Absolute Entertainment. You know. Right. So, would yeah. you consider doing another contract, or? Yeah, it depends. It depends. But right now, I'm more focused on being solo. You know? Nice. Yeah. How about um um what is it called again? Jizzle into Jizzle. You have a Jizzle Kingdom. Jizzle Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 the fan base. That's okay. the team. You know? Right. Yeah. They're the ones that are behind my back, and they've been behind my back okay. way back. You know. So. Thank God, we're still stronger. We're still doing it, making it big, and you know, nice. I'm saying a big thanks to the whole Jizo Kingdom. You know, Big Man Busu, my family. You know what I mean? They're calling yeah. them, them, them. Our mm-hmm. Roxy, everybody. You know. Right. Yeah. Apart from music, what else are you doing? Uh, being a producer, I want to. I want to focus on that side too. Okay. You know. So you're a full-time artist. Yeah, and I, anything I want to do or anything I'm gonna do. I want it to be related musically. I just want it to be musical, even if it's gonna be me building up a studio or starting up a record label mm-hmm. or being a producer, producing for other artists. It's gonna be music. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mix anything with it. I just wanna be that. F- I just wanna dedicate everything to music. Right. You know. So how about when it comes to shooting video clips? Do you shoot your videos more in the Gambia or? Yeah, it depends on what I want. If at all I want a different view. Mm-hmm. Or I want a different location, or there's something I need that I cannot have here. I just find it somewhere else, and even if it's gonna be Dubai, I'm gonna find ways to, to fly myself to Dubai to do okay. it. Okay. You know, so I did some here and I did some in Dakar. Yeah. So how how do you find the uh, um, video graphics here in the Gambia when it comes to shooting music videos? Do you think yeah. that? Yeah, we they're coming up actually. They're coming up. I'm not gonna say. Um, we have the best, mm-hmm. but I'm really, really, really impressed from what I'm seeing. You okay. know, shout outs to STS. He's really, really doing it great, like mm-hmm. great. I'm all, I've only worked with two ever since. Like mm-hmm. I did my first video with STS, which was the man of the year. Yeah. And I did another one with him. And now currently I'm doing some with Gando. Yeah. Irish media. Irish yeah, yeah, I know Gando. I like his music. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's the one that is that is doing most of my videos right now, and I did some in Dakar. With Gando do, uh, films videos as well. Yeah, he, he's a he's a rapper. He, he's he's doing it just for you know. Okay. Yeah, but he's more like a director and a photographer. Nice. Yeah. So I'm talking about even um, man of the year. I was gonna ask you something, but it escaped my mind. But thank mm-hmm. God I have it back on track. Um, rumor has it that you and Atenola fell out mm-hmm. because of the man of the year. Because they said when they called you guys for the Afrima Award, mm-hmm. something happened and you guys fell out. Could you, is, how true is that? And if something actually happened, could you just enlighten that? To yeah. Um, what people don't understand is uh, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't really understand mm-hmm. what's inside. Yeah. You know, the song is mine. Mm-hmm. You know, I came up with the song as in the concept, and I did the hook. If, mm-hmm. you, if you remember. Yeah. You know. And I pay. I did everything, like the video side. Mm-hmm. Everything was on me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? He knows that, you know. And even when we got the award, you know, it. I didn't. I. Don't, I don't personally see it as this is mine. We both did it. So yeah. if anything comes out of it, it's both of us. You know yeah. what I mean? But the Afrima part was different. You know, they were more focused on who who owns the song. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I myself, I was like, yeah, bro. I'm gonna email them and see if they're gonna provide extra ticket yeah. for us to fly together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that didn't go through. So I explained to him and he understood. 
So it's like, yeah, bro, go get it. This is this. Is, if you go, it, it, it's still gonna look like it's both of us. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. I'm still taking the name. It's not like I'm going to Nigeria. Yeah. And, and when them, they play the song, it's going to be you and like, him. Yeah. yeah, just on the internet. So he understood, but people, you know, Gambia, you know, yeah. my people, sometimes they they get things wrong, you know. But you know, I, I mentioned this in few interviews to make them understand, you know, me and Atenora, we're cool and we're forever going to be cool. You know what I mean? Nice. And watch out, we have another song coming out very soon. That's going to be Quatrawas of the Year. <laughs> yeah, big boys. <laughs> big boys of That's the a year. big league. I know, right? Yeah. So, um, um, do you, would you consider yourself um, or have you ever get yourself involved in politics in the Gambia? No, I'm not, I'm not about that. My okay. mom... You're not going to sing about, I don't know, you know, you know and all that. Yeah. You're not going to do you anything can, like you can, that. You can, you can sing stuff like that, but I don't really go deep, deep, deep into politics. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to voice out for the people. Like, I did a song, This is the Gambia, mm -hmm. uh, mentioning, like, most of the crazy things that happen here. And, but it's not like I'm dissing the government yeah. or anything. I'm just speaking for the people. Right. That was the only song I did. And there's this other song I did, Kailen Yune Kabena. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, those are the kind of songs I do. But I'm right. not about, I'm not the politic man. The okay, politic you're not guy. the politician kind of guy, yeah. rapper. You are the make people jiggle their yeah. body kind Just of music. artist. Yeah. Nice. So we've got to the point where we're going to talk about um, the kind of song you listen to. Because, you know, this, this show is called The Playlist. Mm -hmm. And um, if our guests come over, we like to ask them the kind of music they listen to. That's right. As in themselves. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any songs that you listen to? And who are the artists? And why do you like those songs? Maybe if you can give us four. Here, I listen to my, my guys. Uh, my boys, I listen to Hussein and mm -hmm. Chanta. And yeah, because I see you're doing a lot of things with them. Yeah, they're my family. Nice. You know, we did a lot. We, we, we were in the same level together and they're really, 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 really real with me. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I appreciate that. They really support my thing and I consider them as family. Nice. You know, I listen to them. I listen to Nobles. I listen to Esti. And yeah, the list goes on. So okay. I have a crazy playlist. I just vibe to anything that is good. Like, okay. if, I, if I love the melodies or I love the song, I can listen to it every day, you know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it is, but, yeah. As long as the artist is, is really, good. Yeah. I can just be sitting here and I'll hear a random song and love it. I'll just go home and search. Search it on YouTube and download it. And Do you listen to Chinese music? Depends. <laughs> Even though I, I, don't hear, I don't hear the language, but yeah. if I hear a very, very nice melody and... Feel like it's it's sweet. Yeah, you I'm listen gonna, to I'm it. Gonna listen to it. I listen to um a Japanese. They they are Japanese. I mm -hmm. cannot really tell their name, but they are the awesome. Yeah. And when I'm to listening to it, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll play the song to you. When I'm listening to it at home, I my, my my brother would tell me, "Are you normal? <laughs> are you hearing what they're saying?" I'm yeah. like, "It's not about what they're saying. But as long as I'm sound, feeling, yeah. yeah, it's making me move That's and." Right. And I can grab a few words, but I'm not gonna say it here because people you, can are you, gonna. Can you, can you tell me some of them? I would love <laughs> are you to. Serious? Yeah, I'll sing tell it you. For me. No. Sing it for me. Not now. I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. Because um, if I say it here, you're gonna. I'm gonna leave. run. <laughs> I know that. Exactly. I know that. Yeah. So yeah, um, Nobles. Do you like any of their songs? Which Which yeah. one is your favorite out of their songs? Uh, the Most Anime song. Most Anime. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Most Anime. Yeah. I love the melodies, the melodies, the melodies. Come in, daddy. You know that I'm loving your smile, mommy. Mozana me. Mozana, Mozana me. I love. Come in, daddy. You know that I'm loving your smile, mommy. Mozana me. Mozana, come be my lover. The way that you, the way that you give me your body, by the way. Mozana me. Must I not come be my lover? The way that you, the way that you give me your body, bad oh, eh? Sherry, I'm your body, bad oh. Mommy, oh, your body, bad oh. Sherry, I'm your body, bad oh, eh? Mommy, oh, your body, bad oh, eh? You know me if I'm listening to songs. Especially singing, singing songs. Mm -hmm. I, I, I focus more on the melodies. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? The way you're flipping me because I'm the melody type of guy. Yeah. Yeah, I play. I, I love like playing with melodies. this one too. Um, you and Nobles. Uh, the Jarabi song. Jarabi. Yeah. I like your part. My Jarabi, Jarabi. Hey. Your love is all I need. Your, your love, love is all I need. need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like melody. it. Melody. African woman. My Jarabi, Jarabi. Your love is all I need. Your love is all I need, yeah, yeah, yeah I wanna be, wanna be Your one and only, one and only I will never do you back, no, no, no Nina la su tombu kasi no no Haki lo be katare kande Ma be Jarabi no no Ma be Jarabi no no I will fight for your love, I will do anything for you Jarabi, Jarabi, hey, Jarabi, Jarabi, hey, Jarabi, Ila Kano Latin and the Casino. Yeah, so, um, so you said you like nobles, you I like... listen to ST, I listen to Which one of ST's? His new album is fire. You need to go get his new album. It's crazy. Saluto yeah. album. Yeah, salute. I love every track. Were you at the um, concert? The yeah, I was there. I performed. Did you perform? Yeah. Oh, great. My. So, um, do you have any beef with any artist, any government artist? No, actually, I'm cool with everybody. Okay. I'm, cool. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that type of person. You know. Right. I always maintain the peace and respect. Great. Yeah. So, just what does happiness mean to you? Happiness. What would you say is happiness to me? Happiness is happiness. Happiness with me. Happiness comes first. You know, my happiness is more important than anything. Yeah. You know. But yeah, for normally when people come here, I do ask them this question: like, what happiness mean to you? Some people think if you have a lot of money, you're happy. Some people think you had a you uh, you have to travel, or other people think you have to be fame or rich. But to you, what would you say is happiness to you? It doesn't matter, like you mentioned here about being rich and everything. At times you can be rich mm -hmm. and not happy. Yeah, You know that's what true. I mean? Sometimes you see somebody really, 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 really poor, but they live in a very comfortable life. They don't have troubles here. Yeah. They don't have troubles there. Yeah. They're happy. So happiness is everything, you mm -hmm. know? It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you are. The most important thing is you being happy and comfortable or happy with whatever you have or whatever you're doing nice you know, right now i'm happy with what i have you know what i mean and i'm happy with what i do okay. it doesn't matter if you like it or if you don't like it that's your own yeah, yeah as long as i'm bread cool and, butter. and i'm happy that i'm doing this or i'm happy that i did it mm -hmm. i'm cool nice yeah so my happiness comes first that should that is how it should be actually yeah. it has to be you and you and you so what do you have on the pipeline for you right now what are you working on yeah that's a very nice question anyways um right now mm -hmm. as we're speaking i'm working on my album i've already laid one track mm -hmm. so hopefully before mid next year i'm gonna be done with it and i'm gonna have it out on all social media outlets you yeah. know the album tracks are gonna be done and the album is titled finally Nice. You know, you know, I had next big thing, the EP. Yeah. So now 
I've proved, my, I've proved myself that I'm the next big thing and mm -hmm. I am the big thing now. Mm. You know what I mean? This number is, one, is a number big one. thing. That's what he said. Yeah, so now I'm going to tell them, finally. I am the big thing. I am the thing. big thing, finally. Yes. So I'm going to give them hot songs on the album and it's, it's really going to go crazy. It's going to go crazy. I'm going to have okay. different producers both inside and outside Gambia. Oh. You know, and I'm going to do crazy visuals too. I have bigger plans this year and talking about crazy visuals your jellica it's dope yeah. we had we we've seen the girl with the you know the big big baka uh -huh. big, big, yeah. can you so will you be doing more of that and and jellica 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 is a monya man you don't think i'm jellica 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 Fine girl, it's your wish. Fine girl, it's your wish. It's a moon, yeah, man. Fine girl, it's your wish. Fine girl, it's your wish. Fine girl, it's your wish. It's a moon, yeah, man. Jalika. When you did that, how do you feel about the reaction? Because people were like, Janga would make a see Jalika mom. The fuck around it, Jizul mom. The funny, the funny. How are you reacting with that? Yeah, you know me? I like, do, I like being different. Mm -hmm. You know, so whenever I do stuff like that, people see it as something different. Like it's something they never seen. Yeah. Even though, even they are watching stuff like that, but in, in Gambia, Gambia yeah, yeah, we don't we don't see things like that mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, we're doing it. The boys are doing it. Mm -hmm. But me, I like going really, 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 really different. And yeah. people were like both inside and outside. The Gambians outside in the diaspora. Yeah. They are like so crazy about the way. We shouldn't videos now, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They love it and that's something they want to be seeing. They don't want to be seeing. Man, you lose someone they just mean you feel them video, you, you walk into a, you, you, you know, shoot in a video, you hold your girl's hand, you know yeah, what I mean? Go to the beach. beach. <laughs> you know, we <laughs> take <laughs> it to a whole nother level hold. now. You know, me <laughs> yeah, or you sit down <laughs> on the table like this, you know, sing <laughs> thing. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's just it. And I have more more like that coming. Right. I dropped another video, a new video like few weeks ago which is my nigga okay and yeah, yeah one, i've seen that one that one is the, is the hardest right now mm. like everybody is just talking about that one yeah and i have two more videos coming i have eco d and i have finally the official nice. soundtrack and the official video is dropping at the same time great yeah so i have all the things coming. nice so um some people feel that diesel is reserved you know diesel with their new so don't many heat up there you know yeah how true is that well I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't actually know much about that. You know, I'm not gonna say much about that because mm -hmm. if you know me, mm -hmm. if you really, really know me, you know that I'm not, I'm not that type of person. Maybe I just feel like maybe those people are just talking because there's no easy access. Because I've, I've learned that most people here, if they don't have that access to you, yeah. they try saying one or two things. That yeah. will, you know what I mean? Kinda. Yeah, as long as you're not vibing with them, right? Like, yeah, more, because more. some people will come to you like, Janet, boy, you know what I mean? They, they, they wanna, they wanna, and, and, and me, I'm not that type of person. You know what I mean? If I know you, or if you know me, you can tell. Like I said, they don't have access to you. They will try mm -hmm. to say one or two things. Nah, but you're you know I mean? down with your day one homie still. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still with it. That's what I mentioned in my yeah. my new song. You know, yeah. I'm still my rolling niggas, with my them. Niggas, eh, yeah. My niggas, my niggas, my niggas, yo yo. So that side, I'm just gonna say, uh, if you don't know me, you don't know me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So people nowadays they just right. talk, 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 talk. Are you married? No, nah, I'm not married. What are you waiting for? Uh, actually, I just need a couple of. T I need one or two things before I do that. Before you I need to that. be ready okay. to get married, and I feel like right now I'm not that. I'm not ready for that. So how are you dealing with the numerous girls wanting to be around, Jizzle? You know, I'm running around. I'm, I'm also <laughs> chasing. I'm also chasing something. You know what I mean? So it's just all about being focused. Mm -hmm. I'm more focused on my stuff. You know. 
I do, I do. So have... they're running to you and you're running to your dream? No, it's not, it's nothing like that, you know. They understand, they okay. know that I'm a chaser, you know. I love grinding, Right. you know what I mean? So they get to understand, you know. So I think I have to give you a new name, Jizzle the Chaser. The Paper Chaser. How do you like that? The Paper Chaser, yeah. The paper Chaser, yeah. Yeah, before it looks like the lady the chaser. chaser. Yeah. Before, 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 before somebody gets in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, it looks like somebody's in the pipeline anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, do you have anything you want to, you know, tell your people out there or anything, any project you're working on that you want people to know, any show that is coming up or something like that? Yeah, I will start with um, go follow and subscribe on my social media pages, my Instagram, you know, jizzle underscore official mm -hmm. and my YouTube channel if you want to watch my videos and everything that has to do with me, you can go subscribe on my Vivo channel, Jizzle yeah. Vivo, you know what I mean? Yeah. I have videos coming out, I have songs coming out, the album is coming, you know what I mean? My tour is kicking off soon, yeah. the next big thing tour, and mm -hmm. we're going to go all around. We're going to go to your neighborhood, we're going to go to the provinces, and it's really going to go great. It's going to go sick, crazy. Nice. You know what I mean? So the tour is coming and a couple more shows, school mm -hmm. tour is going to come, come mm -hmm. on the way too. So... It's going to be a very, very great year. 2019 is going to be fun. 2019 personally. is coming 2019 is coming with a different style. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm so excited. And yeah. Great. Great things So do happen. you have any favorite song of yours? Your own songs? Yeah, currently I'm vibing to this finally song. It's not yet out, but okay. I keep listening to it. Do you want to give us a little taste or no? Uh, nah, let me just save it. No, that's, why I didn't, that's why I didn't release it. I just want to have it out okay. with the Can audio. you just give us something... Um, a maybe an acapella or something you, yeah. in one of your songs that are out already okay now let me just let me just give you the final okay finally. okay yeah go give us a finally because i like tisa 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 yes finally mm. hey and as you see me now then they love me locally hey my mama pray for me now the boy international hey so if you want come block my way thunder fire you boom <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's a it's a it's a it's a great song, and everybody around me, mm -hmm. like my friends and a couple of artists, I have good relationship with, good rapper. Like I played the song to them, and they love it. They're mm -hmm. like, this song is gonna be big, and mm -hmm. I feel like the song has the same potential man of the year have because okay. it's talking about myself and the achievements and the struggle I've I've been through mm -hmm. these past years, and a whole lot of people are gonna reflect to it they're going to see themselves into, uh, to it because at some point it's personal mm -hmm. at some point you can use it to you know what i mean to, yeah. to vibe and yeah so the song is coming out january first week or second week the video and the audio is dropping the same time wait on it you know taking over like we have to take this finally to, uh, we have reached a point of yeah. the show where we have to shut it down yeah. and it was so great to have you here on the playlist mm -hmm. i am so so grateful having you on the platform and like i always tell you guys do not forget to subscribe on our facebook page the playlist and it comes every saturday 6 p.m sharp on care factory Stay with us till we come again with another artist or another individual that you would like to hear from them about their career, their music, or whatever they're doing. I am Sally Joke and peace.